the women's 100 freestyle for the S11 class. Mary Fisher, five times a world champion at the Montreal World Championships two years ago. Can she claim her first title here? Well, there are the S11 competitors for this women's 100 meters freestyle being led out now by their tappers. Obviously, each swimmer has two tappers, one at the start-finish end and one at the turn end. All wearing blacked-out goggles, as we said before. There's Mary Fisher. She is a real force to be reckoned with. Silver medalist at the London Paralympic Games, Paul. Well, she was one of two New Zealand swimmers who won five gold medals at the last World Championships in Montreal two years ago. Elizabeth Eagle, well, she's another youngster, just 14 years of age, from Estonia. Tisha Martinez from the USA in lane number two. Maya Reichardt from Sweden in lane number three. Watch out for her in the breaststroke event. She's dominated 100 breaststroke the visually impaired class, but Mary Fisher has pretty much dominated everything else apart from the breaststroke. Maybe the distance freestyle, because that's the domain of Daniela Schulter, the experienced German in lay number five. Lou Guzzi, well, medalist at the Paralympics and the World Championships in 50 freestyle. Can she translate that sprint speed into the 100 freestyle here? Nunes Silva from Brazil, enjoying her introduction there. And Ikenaga from Japan in lane number eight. Well, I mentioned the importance of the start earlier on. Ikenaga went straight into the rope in the heat. This is Mary Fisher. Well, we can see there from the start, pretty much all of the swimmers managing to come up bang center in the lane, but all of them seem to be heading towards the ropes now, apart from Daniela Schulter, who's swimming cleanly down the middle of the lane, but Mary Fisher doing very well. You can see the lane ropes there absorbing the waves, they bend as the force goes into them. Here comes the tap. Oh, and it's perfect from Mary Fisher. Look at that, straight over. And also good on the outside of her from Maya Reichard of Sweden. You said to look out for her, Paul, and she does look pretty smooth. These blind swimmers haven't got vision, to obviously, to be able to kind of calculate where they need to keep their head in the stroke. So it makes it quite, diff makes it quite difficult for them to hold their head still. But Mary Fisher here, looking like an absolute classic freestyle swimmer. It is a great battle for the minor medals, but there's no doubt about who's going to win this one. Mary Fisher is going to take this one again. She's going to add to her tally of world titles. She takes it. It's gold for New Zealand, gold for Mary Fisher. Daniela Schulter in lane number five. Looks like she has got in for the silver medal. And it was Lee Guzzi in lane number six who comes in for the bronze. But there is Mary Fisher. Well, you'll be listening to the announcers here in the stadium. She may be aware that she's won it, but I do remember in London when she won the gold medal in the 200 medley on the very last day, she had to wait till she get out of the water before her tapper could actually tell her that she had won a medal. So at the moment, she may not have any idea that she's just won another gold medal. Absolutely, well, it was a great 50 in the end from Maya Reichard who ended up finishing fourth. Here's the start underwater, and you can see all of them straight down the centre of the lane, but as soon as they get to the surface, just disappearing out of your picture there, they all head to the lane ropes. There's the tap. It's OK. It's OK at the end. She ends up with a bit of a glide, but she had enough distance on the rest of the field that it didn't matter. Having a goggles check there. <laughs> and a big smile. Another gold medal heading back. 
to New Zealand. I think she's just found out there another smile there. Excellent, very good, Mary Fisher. Mary Fisher takes the gold medal for New Zealand. Daniela Schulter, the silver medal, and Lee Guzi from China, the bronze.